said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> this fucking guy. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the Savage East. And voila, for her. All the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hole for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Oh, Malfunction. Malfunction. Are you, me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Uh, you might want to step away, Eloy. What exactly are they venting? I underestimated you. Too bad now I... Uh, run? Oh boy. Guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. All right, let's see. And now we're getting ignored. Great. These will keep. Oh god, it's giving me healing shit. It's not gonna be Please just take answers. A seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. <laughs> oh god, the candidates are Please fucking proceed screaming. To viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. 
life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Okay, uh, enough of the build-up. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Why did Aloy default to her fucking... starter costume during that? Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Kestrels? Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If right. it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? Shit. Three of them. This should be easy enough. That doesn't kill me. Are you fucking kidding me, video game? Oh, okay. Okay, the, the arrow just went through his head. Word of shadow. You're not done yet. Grant me victory. Should have put a trap on the entrance. Come on. Come on. Good. We're too close to the tribal print to stop us now. The data points. What did they contain? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. You're also a tribal, I'm sure tribal, you now understand tribal the primitive. Urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code-breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Okay. What next? 
great. What the fuck did they do to these people? What the hell? Thing with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging, slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global-scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Okay. She was accepting. What's in here? Was this here just so I could fuck with uh, the soldiers? Oh god, it was. Hang on. Ah, shit. More lore. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow, and you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage, we're talking a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. Uh, I don't think they were trying to build a colony ship, Doctor. Okay, let's get back in there and see if there's another path I missed, because I really think there is. Yeah, where does this go? Oh, I think it goes back. Yep, all the way back. Right, what's in the next room? Fuck. Is this here so I could fuck with the soldiers again? Oh, there's Laura, so I'm fine with it. There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm? The pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Oh god, they were trying to preserve culture. Hence the monk, and the... What was the other guy? That guy was a physicist. Okay, that guy was probably relevant to actually making the thing. That is accurate, yes. 
So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people, they feed off them? Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolved into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? <laughs> no, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Uh, Doc, uh, please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Want to discuss? Whew. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. <laughs> hey. I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee, conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. <laughs> what exactly was this guy? <laughs> Who previously worked for Faro Automated oh, Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? <laughs> I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since, since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just, I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all, my work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept, and, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. Oh, shit. Imagine being that guy. Imagine being responsible for this shit show. How do I get in there? Like, how is he even alive? You'd expect most people to just kill themselves after causing so much death. I mean, I don't know how bad the situation was with the war, but... On. How do I get in here? I guess this room is shut off. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Oh boy. Elizabeth Sobeck. Default out it again. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope of Project Zero Dawn to create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system 
and bring life back from lifelessness. What? What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Oh God. Now these aren't AIs, but make Hades. no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system 80s. is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. Holy How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From what? detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life, and then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. Holy shit. A machine of creation. The old mother. Did this for life for us but why Hades then if it was part of Gaia how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot and why does it want to kill me and Apollo the archive of knowledge what happened to that I'm as confused as you are Maybe oh boy the answer's in my head. That is fucking insane. Oh my god. In all my theory crafting, I never expected this. They let everything die, then an automated system destroyed the robots. Okay, now it all makes sense. The ancient machines dug up from the the ground they're not like all the shit that we find outside they're not pharaoh robots the corruptors are so that was what the corruption is it's the it's pharaoh robots taking hold of gaia robots right holy shit it all makes sense now But, what? Why are all they? Why are they all weaponized? 
they wouldn't need to be, would they? If if Gaia destroyed, if Gaia shut down all of the Pharaoh robots sixty years after the destruction of the Earth, then why is everything weaponized? Why do Ravagers have fucking cannons on them? That doesn't make any sense. Your selection, oh boy. Oh my god. What the fuck? I want to see I want to hear logs of people reacting to this, please. Not great console guidelines. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I uh, the, the the damage that I I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. Uh, that's the, the, the better than rapid innovation. Uh, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> It's just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this, for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I... that there could be... Uh, atonement. Okay. I really hope that we get all of their reactions. Of course I'll do it. No, fuck off. To be given the If you're still nauseous. No. The inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. <laughs> I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. All signs like point to the country. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. What? <laughs> Why? A habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Okay. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist. A, a dangerous fantasist. He's kind of blue-skying. It's... <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. 
I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. No, you're not. What are you... You don't... Get your hands off me! <laughs> you are not going anywhere, okay. on. Medical way in it. I don't. I don't want to move forward, please. Just want to hear everyone's reaction to this. Stranded shackles. Okay, I think I know what this is. I think it's just something you give to merchants in Meridian. Which makes me kind of hopeful that I can continue playing after I... After I'm done with this mission. What is this? Okay, this is a dead end. Oh boy. Stocking up. Hmm, game. Don't do this. I want more. There's no more. I wanted to hear what the crazy guy would say. Uh, the criminal. Intruder! Get her! Found Whatever you do, here. don't die now. don't know where I am, you don't see me. You do, actually. Oh god, are you kidding me? That's moral. Let this strike up my ah! Why was I on my fucking first bill? Okay. okay, this is... This is annoying. Sticky bombs, man. It's amazing. Remember the flag. Hello. That guy's gone. Out. Shit. Okay. Let this deliver the uh, final no. What the fuck? There we go. Goodbye. Actually got really close to fucking dying because this thing was not would not start firing. It's been so long since I used one that I forgot how slow they are to rev up. Save these for the trail. Zero dawn. It is art in a way, an expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Suve? Christina Suve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. It would really suck if all these people died for nothing. Not died, uh, all their work was for nothing. Oh god, the crazy guy. those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day? I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, 
And just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. <laughs> Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. <laughs> now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn? No, ma'am. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Power's down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. That was great. Here we go. Another one of these. Oh boy. Need to find the right configuration. Oh, that. Okay. That's simple enough. What was the other one? Down and then right. Once I just want to do this without throwing a rock at it. Done. I should check the door nearby. No, you shouldn't, because there's a part missing. Of course. Maybe hey, there's a storage area nearby. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. What? Hey. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install Oh great. How do I Whatever this is, it's the other way around. <laughs> the pharaoh is even upside down. Where's the the core? 